Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you're at, ladies and gents. I am Kura Isagami, your resident tinkerer and metarotter, and this is the Metarot News Network, bringing you all the latest developments and happenings with our favorite pet fighting robot series. Now this week, we're picking up right where we left off last week with the beginning of the Ultraman collab, only this week we have a couple of expected additions to the event shop and the collaboration event itself that we did see coming uh, and that were teased originally in the beginning of the collaboration, such as the event being um, essentially split in half and a couple bots that were teased that, were, that would be announced later in the week and the month that we now will be having going live this week. And for that reason, in the spirit of the continuation of the Ultraman collab, I have named this week's episode, episode 27, Heroes in Red. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into what they did announce for this week. The first of which are the gotcha banners that are highlighted for this week. Uh, first of which on the line is ALI-03 Metal Eater with a kit of Deathlock, Ghost, Ghost Shot, Float Legs, and the Auto Repair Leg Ability. Now Metal Eater we already did know ahead of time was coming as it was announced last week with the uh, Metarot, Metarot Day 24th Anniversary uh, live stream and just to touch on it briefly he will be getting a uh, bonus skin as well available in the convenience store when the when the new week does go live this coming thursday so him he was essentially to be expected but he will be going live this week for anyone that is in need of a uh, high powered nuker essentially uh, especially with uh, defense ignore and death lock um, in addition to that this week we were also teased hap zero marie crown the harp type with first aid, double sacrifice, float legs, and the revenger leg ability, which honestly puts her on the same tier as maybe, actually even a be slightly better tier than maybe most other sacrifice based spots that we have in the game to this point. Primarily with the leg ability alone, but also with the fantastic kit that she has uh, built around it. After that, we were also teased PIR0 Mad Natury with a kit of Deathlock, Sword, Assassin, the Sea Legs, and the Charge Fight leg ability. So we have lots of very high-powered nukers coming this week, especially. Um, all of them are fantastic in their own right and have some fantastic kits in their arsenal, no less. Um, ALI, uh, Metal Eater, Mad Natary, and Marie Crown all, of course, being melee base. So definitely a great opportunity to pick up on some high-power melee parts that you might be in need of, especially in Mad Natary's case where with a good um, melee-oriented sea leg. Just to touch on it again briefly, um, Ultrasium and Seven Slugger will be, uh, their banners will still continue to go live and stay through this month through the duration of the collab. So if you are still looking to try to get a hold of them, don't fret too much because we are still going to be holding on to them pretty much through the duration of this collab, so you have plenty of time. Deer Stage also will be staying another week, so if you have not quite picked up Deer Stage yet, but still want to try to add her to your potential list and library of parts, um, you still have plenty of time to do so. As for the Fierce Battles that we have this week, we do have a brand new addition, CC CCD0 Semi Cicade, with a kit of Melee Trap, Double Break, uh, Flight Legs, and the Nest Leg Ability. In addition to him, we also have CMR0 Aim Flash with a kit of Flash, Beam, Mega Gatling, and the Wheeled Legs, and the Extra Magazine Leg Ability. And then on top of that, we also have SKD0 Segodo making a comeback with Beam, Double Hold, Biped Legs, and the Leg Ability of Captor. So Semi Cicade, as mentioned, is a brand new model that is debuting all the way back from Metarot 3. So this is his first official 3D debut and his grand debut into the uh, more modern games from here forward. So very excited to see how well he stacks up. Um, honestly, with the MVP of the week that we have, we actually have two really good bots that we could consider. So if you are going to farm anything outside of the event, I would definitely consider putting that MVP of the week to either Semi Cicade, uh, primarily for the heavy punish between his arms, or even Aim Flash for the high speed wield legs with the uh, extra head ability, or even the flash ability to basically serve as a Deathlock Light for anyone that has not had a chance to pick up on maybe uh, Titan Beetle or Spinag or even Metal Eater if the Gacha Luck does not seem to be with you. So lots of fantastic bots, both the Gacha Banners and with the Fierce Battles, but that was not the only thing that was announced this week, even though it was a rather quiet week compared to what we have seen in the past uh, with Metarot Day it being this previous week. With the event itself, part two of the collaboration has been at, will be added this coming Thursday. So Seven Sluggers announcer, vo announcer voice and uh, voice clips will be added officially uh, to the event shop to be redeemed. So much like it was this week where you could redeem 
uh, prizes and voice clips for Ultrasium as an announcer and as a uh, sound test voice essentially. Now we can do the same thing with Seven Slugger. On top of that, we are getting the other half of the levels of the event added as well, so this also is a chance to farm up on some on the other half of the remaining rubies, as well as finally start building teams built, ge built geared towards blue tickets this time around. As since I'm pretty sure we all have had plenty of time through this week to farm for the red tickets and get all the rewards uh, related thereof, now's our chance to kind of change up gears and change up teams just a little bit. So of course, with this event being ticket-based, uh, peer sets are not necessarily encouraged, you will want to try to spread parts out where you can so you can maximize the highest bonus. Naturally, Seven Slugger will give you that plus five per part added in the team, Metal Eater at plus three, and then Semi Cicade, uh, Aim Flash, and Sagoto at plus one bonus ticket each. So again, pure sets are not necessarily going to be encouraged this time around. You will want to try to mix the parts up wherever possible so you can maximize those builds. In addition to other in-game news that was added, we did also get our first look at some more uh, bonus skins that are going to be added to the skin shop uh, in future in future updates in this coming weeks. Uh, the skins revealed would be for Teodora Barrel, a desert camo with a more like a yellow gemstone. We are seeing a blue floral saint nurse, which honestly does look really, really nice. And then on top of that, we are also seeing an undersea camo infinitus skin, which looks really, really nice and is a very nice... Um, contrast to the typical yellow that Infinitus does come in normally. On top of that, um, we are getting another story mode, Arc 5 Chapter Incoming, or just to highlight the tail end of that, they did announce that we are going to be seeing a half energy event likely to commemorate that, so this is definitely a great chance to farm or pick up on some extra energy and some extra resources that maybe you might be falling back on. One minor note I want to add as well. I did some minor research with this on my own um, after I picked up the first skin, but I made a rather interesting discovery, and that's the fact that you can actually use paint chips with skinned parts. So say for instance, if the gacha banner hasn't been necessarily uh, forgiving to you, as you may have hoped or intended, you can actually use a color chip on a part that you unlocked a skin for to unlock even more um, paint and color combinations that normally you would not be able to with the parts normal with the parts normal coloring. So that was a little discovery that I made in recent and I wanted to at least pass that knowledge along as it definitely will open up a number of opportunities and possibilities for um, future color schemes that we might be seeing through the community both on the western front and on the Japanese one. As continual we are still always looking for translators um, on, the, on the Project Rising Beetle front we are continually looking for translators for any of our translation projects, which includes the MetaRot Reloaded manga and the MetaRot 3 translation. So if you happen to have any knowledge of coding, cleaning, or Japanese and have some time on your hands, we are more than appreciative of any help or assistance that you'd be willing to offer. And if you do have any questions on maybe where we have left off or where we need that help most of all, you are more than happy to reach out to me or to someone else in our Discord, and we can absolutely get you up to speed with someone that does have um, all the uh, that does have all the information to help bring you up to speed on what needs done and what still needs to be done at this current point. But aside from all this that was mentioned, I believe that does cover everything that was mentioned for this week. So thanks so much for stopping by, folks. If you'd like to know more, you can follow us at the links below. Um, on Facebook, you can follow us at the MetaRot News Network page or the MetaBots Forever communities on Facebook. You can also join us on Discord at the link provided and in the comments below, uh, where we are much more so active with keeping up to date with the news or maybe even just keeping up with fellow MetaRotters or playing other games. Uh, the more the merrier. But definitely do give us a stop on by, and we are more than happy to have you in. Do You can also follow me on Twitter personally, at Isagami Kura. So if you have any questions, feedback, comment, or suggestions, um, I'm more than open to anything that you might have to suggest. The live 2D model, as you see here, was just one of many um, overhauls that I had planned and had been having on the back burner for a number of weeks. But as you saw with my debut on Sunday, I am very pleased with how well the model came out. I absolutely love it. And I am very excited to see how future videos hold up with the addition of this new and much more engaging asset to my channel. 
On top of that, that being said, with the uh, rigging of the model, I do do give these other fine folks too, uh, Cotton Sweets, or also known as Small Ducko on Twitter. She actually was the one who designed this wonderful model for me, so I am very thankful once again for the work that she put into it. Thank you so much, Cotton, if you are watching. I absolutely adore the model and will be sure putting it to good use. For anyone else that might be looking for an art commission or maybe looking to uh, uh, join, increase more of the art community and learn more, uh, Small Ducko Cotton Sweets is definitely someone you could look at look into. On top of that, you can also follow Cali Dory um, also on Twitter, either at Eru4 um, or the Metabot, who also runs the Metabots OOC page on Twitter. Always a wonderful addition to see any um, out of context clips or even just clips of the anime in general added to the uh, added to my Twitter feed, uh, as well as, as stopping in on her art streams as well. Much like Cotton Sweets, Cali also is a wonderful, wonderful artist with a fantastic personality wonderful streaming she actually been giving me a lot of help and feedback with helping get a lot of my stuff set up so Callie I would like to take a minute and say thank you to you as well for all you for all your continued support and encouragement and your feedback I am continually making a lot of developments and efforts towards getting a lot of it worked on um, but and I do I do hope to uh, see more continual improvement with the channel as more as everything still works itself out one other thing I would like to add before I do close is as I'm sure you guys have noticed the new uh, background and and uh, overhaul I've seen to my channel. I did mention it is going to have a much be easier overhaul, so it's a lot easier to see and um, digest everything. So if you guys do like this new format better than the old one, or maybe even liked asset uh, assets of the old one better, uh, please do let me know. And in future videos, I can maybe make a mix of the two, or maybe revert back and try some, you know, stick with the older format. But if you guys have any feed uh, suggestions, feedback, or comments, please do let me know so I can maybe uh, factor it into a future update and overhaul to the channel as I continually strive to improve the quality of the videos going forward. But aside from all this, thanks again for stopping by folks, it's always happy to have you in for a visit. Until next time, this is your host, Kura Isagami of the Metarot News Network, signing out.